I'm now going to do, um, with a view on boating, a meat curry. Now, chicken, beef or lamb can be used as the meat, about a pound each. Except, of course, um, I'm using today um, a kilo's, two pounds worth of, of chicken thighs. Because I like using chicken thighs. But a pound meat's what you should do. I mean, if you're using more meat, you want to make it a bit more, that's fine. The recipe actually is pound. I've added a little bit extra because of the, the, the chicken that I'm using. Right, now, this can be done in a Mr. D that I'm using here. I'm just going to put the oil in there at the moment, just warming it up. Mr. D, it can be done in a pressure cooker, which is a 15 pound weight, about um, 12 minutes. It can be done in a slow cooker. It can be done in a normal pot. Normal pot, you cook chicken, normally 40 minutes cooking time. Now, you can add vegetables, particularly on a boat, because you want to get as much in one pot as you can. Um, I'm gonna use potato, which I've chopped up there, and a couple of carrots. You can more or less use anything you like. Now, this is important. With beef, you can use okra. A lot of islands and tropical areas you get okra. You can use aubergines. Put them in halfway through the cook in a normal pot, but when you're using Mr. D, um, you more or less have to go in at the, the same time. But with the pressure cooker, um, um, you, could order, you could go 10 minutes before the end, uh, sorry, five minutes before the end and add the vegetables. I think pressure cooker, everything goes in. Um, when it comes to, um, uh, slow cooker um, put it in near the end sometimes right um, now this is Mr. D I'm using this because that's handy on a boat I know a lot of you are rich and wealthy and uh, you've probably got electric devices but if you're in a marina of course you can use it if you've got shore power otherwise um, these things are great okay there is chili garlic and ginger about two inches of ginger about four or five garlic cloves and um, about two chilies about so long or to the equivalent whatever you fancy in terms of taste and salt of course now this is the important thing C curry paste now you can get that nowadays nearly in every supermarket ideal for boats and the base that I'm using here will be added to that and it'll make a delicious curry now the other thing I'm using is this uh, cinnamon cloves about eight that goes in I'm now going to put the onions this is very useful two onions Come back to that one. I got to sort it out. Right now, um, this is important when you're cooking curries with onions. When you're doing Chinese, it's different. This is for curries. I, I don't know if you see that, but it's it's just getting light brown around the edges. Now what I'm going to do is while it's getting light brown around the edges, I'm now going to add the garlic, ginger, chilies, and. Uh, they're chopped and they're added now. Now the object now, I've turned the temperature down from the onions off because um, I don't want to cook them too fast. I've turned it down a bit and I'm now going to fry them till it's dark brown the onions. And it's important this in a curry, it really is. So I'll try and show you here, but whether you can see it. Basically, remember, light brown around the edges, then add your garlic, ginger and chilies and then fry until it's dark brown. What you want to do is make sure that the onions are dark. If they're too light, then the onions will, will taste, uh, the curry bit a light color, and it will taste sweeter. And that's all right in Chinese food, but not necessarily in Indian food. You want it nice and dark, so you need it uh, fried darker. But you definitely want the ginger and the garlic uh, cooked. You don't want it raw, so I'm frying that at the moment. Right, now, there is the onions, browned. Don't worry about the bits sticking to the bottom of the pan, they'll come off and you add the water in a bit. But 
In fact, that's a good little tip when you're what cooking or whatever and things are sticking. Just a dribble of water, I'll just show you. I'll just took a tiny little bit. There you are. And then you can start scrubbing and it'll all come off. Right, now, so I've done the an onions to light till dark brown. Now, I'm now taking a spoon and I'm going to add the recipe for a pound is two teaspoons of, uh, of uh, curry powder, curry paste rather. And because I've got so much in here of vegetables and that, I'm going to add three large pieces and really use it up. So that's your curry paste. One, two, almost used it up. I don't think there'll be enough in here. But uh, three, and that's empty. But what I'll do, is I'll add water to this. When I come to add the water, I'll get some of the dregs out. Right now, now that once you've done that, now the other thing with a spoon, clean ginger with. You take a take the spoon, get your ginger, and have a little top tip, as they say. Right now, give that a quick stir. Now I'm going to add. I'm going to add the meat now, but I'm going to add the water now. Right, water's added. Give it a bit of a rub round to get these. So that was the curry paste, quick stir around, a few seconds, a minute say. And that's it now. There you add your meat. Um, with, with beef, uh, lamb, you know, if you want to seal them first, you can. I don't think there's a great need to do that when you're cooking over such a length of time, but I'm not going to say you shouldn't do that. Right, there's the meat in there now. And now what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the vegetables. Oh, before I do that, add some salt. The usual palm system. In it goes. And a tiny bit left, there we go. Um, right. And now I'm adding the vegetables. That's all right. That's there and there. And you've got with the Mr. D and um, slow cookers and pressure cookers, you've really got to try it and um, you've got to make sure the water covers the cooking, the, the stuff you're cooking. So, here we go. Now the other tip, top tip is that coriander, you know when you've taken the leaves, you can add curry at the end of these curries, but the stalks that you get, um, green stalks, cut them off with the elastic bandies, chop them off, very fine, add them in now. They add a great flavour to the, to the curry. Right, that's in there now. I might add some, uh, some more vegetables, I might add some peas to give it a green. Right, um, just for the sake of the recipe, to show you what we chuck in there on the boat. Um, frozen peas. That makes them pretty too, actually, frozen peas. So they're frozen peas. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the recipe, really. So now what I've got to do now is bring it to the boil and then simmer it for um, I think I'm going to simmer it 15 minutes and then put it in the slow cooker in the Mr. D. I'll show you that when I come to right. it. Now I brought the curry to the boil. Uh, I simmer, it's simmering now. Well still pretty sort of violent simmer I've got to say on the electric cooker 
They're simmering now. I've done it for 20 minutes. I think uh, I could do a lot less if I wanted to, but I've left the day a bit later in the day, so I've done it a bit longer. So I've got to put this in the Mr. D. Important, Mr. D, to make sure you get it in the right spot, the handles of the bowl. And then what I'm going to do is I've got to, you've got to make sure it's nice and soft and it shut, should shut. Perfect. Now, here's the important thing I'm believing, Mr. D. Really important that you seal it properly. So either using this sort of contraption or something else you made, elastic bands or whatever it is, make sure that's on dead tight. Um, put some weights on it if you need to. Whatever it is, make sure it's on tight. And that now is going to be cooked in about four hours time. I'm going to put it on the floor out of the way. And uh, there we go. Another Mr. D. Um, I will try a curry with Mr. D with their, their, their recipe for the rice. I think their recipe has too much water in the rice, but I'll vary, vary that. Right, here's the uh, Mr. D. Undone it. Take the lid off. Hot. Take it out. stir so you can see there you go let me just see if I can show you there you are chicken curry 